Hey everyone and welcome to another All About RVs video. Today we're going to take a look at a brand new 2020 and a half Cruiser RV Striker 2916. The Striker is a toy hauler travel trailer line. We're going to take a few minutes, walk you around the inside and then back to the outside of this new RV. All right, guys, we're now up inside the new Striker 2916 toy hauler here. And as you can see, we are looking toward the rear of the coach, and that is your garage section back there. Um, this unit has the Happy Jack bed system here. Uh, basically, so you have a sofa slash dinette slash bunk area on the rear. It's push button power, goes up and down. Right now, I have it in dinette mode. So you kind of see what that looks like. Gives you a place for four people to sit pretty easily. And the bunk is located up top. I have that up in storage mode at the moment. But you can drop them down, sleep four people back there, or just use it as a dinette area, or put it all the way up against the ceiling, out of the way. The thing does also fold down against the walls. So if you need extra height for a taller golf cart or a rhino or whatever you're putting in here, um, you can get a few inches of height by dropping the seat against the walls instead of up into the ceiling area. Um, another thing that's back here is a little screen area. And they have an option for a patio deck. This customer chose not to do the patio deck, but it comes with a little screen area back here. And it's basically a tinted window slash screen slash privacy curtain. Uh, it zips up and down and everything, but you have your choice of leaving it as a window, opening it to a screen, or doing the little privacy curtain thing there. Spinning on around this direction here. You have another little sofa area, which is built into the uh, slide out there. That does make into a small bed, and you got a little seating area there as well. So that gives you basically seating slash dining for six. And then you have two movable reclining chairs over here. So you could sit eight people in this camper pretty comfortably. You have your stereo system there on the wall, your panel for your main controls, monitor panels, things like that, uh, lights and slide buttons, all that stuff. Some storage. Huge ceiling heights in here. You even have a ceiling fan in a travel trailer. That's pretty crazy. Most trailers do not have ceiling fans in them, unless it's a destination trailer or fifth wheel. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Nice big high ceilings, high arching ceilings as well. TV up above. Your electric box with your breakers and fuses is down beside the uh, little table there. Air conditioning controls, ceiling fan controls on the wall. A larger gas and electric refrigerator. The unit has a pretty nice stereo system in it. has a kicker sub up there. There's a kicker amp in that cabinet that I showed you back there. More overhead cabinetry. We'll pull down blinds, deep tent safety glass windows, solid surface kitchen countertop sinks. Uh, another little kind of quirky feature here. Uh, little keys for it. They're key to like. So the entry door and the storage door keys are the same. But it also has a little light built in. So if you come back to your camper at night, just to kind of help see the uh, lock. It's got a little light built into it. High-rise faucet does have the uh, little stainless sink underneath there. Quite a bit of storage down here. You have a couple drawers on the left there. Some over uh, storage around the Furion oven. The oven has the glass panel in it. Three burner cooktop. More overhead cabinetry. And you have a microwave there. Microwave's kind of cool. It's got like a mirror reflector to it. Um, so it's a little bit different. Nice good sized pantry over here. You go on back into the bedroom area here. Electric outlet on both sides of the bed. The bed does raise up, so there is storage underneath of there. 
hanging closet and drawer on both sides of the bed. And you also have a shelf and cabinetry across the top. A lot of brands either do a cabinet or they do a shelf, but not both. So it's kind of cool you have both. And your generator, start stop button, hour meter up there on the left, USB charger port. There's two of them right there in the middle, so you could each plug in your cell phone there. Door here in the bedroom area to go in and out. Nice big window. Again, deep tent safety glass windows there. That's pretty nice. They open. It's a 50% opening window there, so it gives you a nice cross breeze in here. Decent amount of room at the foot of the bed, so you can kind of walk through here. They do a little LED accent lighting up above. There's also a roof vent in here with a fan. Pretty good size ceiling height in here. TV hookups in here as well. So you can mount your flat screen to the wall. You have a bathroom door that you can either enter the bathroom from your master bedroom or from the living room kitchen area. Foot flush toilet. You have the glassed in shower. Again, high ceilings in here, skylight, fan up there, all ducted air conditioning. There's also a pretty good sized cabinet right there for towels and washcloths and stuff like that. And you have uh, more storage, your sink over here on this side. Walk on in here and look from the other direction real quick. So you can kind of see what it looks like in this area. Don't forget, guys, to check out CouchesRVNation.com. They are one of the largest internet wholesale dealers in the country. They'll definitely save you a lot of money on a new RV. Pretty cool little counter area there, so you do have a little extra shelf space on that side. But overall, a nice big toy hauler. So if you're looking to take you, you know, a four-seater Razor or something like that, or just a golf cart or single motorcycle, whatever, there's plenty of room in here to do quite a bit of hauling. We're going to take a few minutes and head on to the outside of the coach and show you around the outside. All right, guys, we're now back on the outside of this new Striker travel trailer. And as you can see here, it is a white fiberglass exterior. It is an aluminum studded construction on your side walls there. And you got your typical vinyl decals, lower metal skirting. The front is a fiberglass three-quarter cap with some built-in LED lights, lower diamond plate. Uh, there's two 30-pound propane tanks that come with the coach. Power tongue jack has a built-in light, room for one or two batteries to go on the front. Traditional safety chain, seven-way Bargman plug, and two and five sixteenths hitch ball. Now you have a pretty good sized storage compartment here, slam lock baggage door, magnetic holder instead of the little plastic thing there. And you can see aluminum structure there in the bedding, but a pretty decently finished off area. And on the right hand side there is the uh, battery disconnect and a little light down there. Power awning has a built in LED light strip, adjustable arms for water runoff. And also has the little uh, manual override spot in the head up there. You can stick a socket and ratchet in there, manually crank it in in case of power failure. A uh, little nicer setup there in case of an emergency need. Uh, a lot of brands, you can't do that. you got to take them apart to manually roll them up. Low point water drains, hot and cold water down there, fully enclosed underbelly down here in this section. Um, kind of helps get your camping extended into the colder weather. Black tank flush, cable and electric outlet there, a sticker on the wall telling you where you could screw a mount into it if you wanted to mount a flat screen TV out here. Um, so you can put your little bracket there, do a removable bracket, take the TV off in, in travel mode. Furnace exhaust, refrigerator access panel for maintenance. You have your fresh water tank fill. Double axle, we'll get to that information. We'll get to the other side, aluminum wheels. The unit is uh, pre-wired and upgradable to a Wi-Fi internet system. 
see your outdoor speakers there. Uh, another really cool feature is you actually have a porch light up there or LED light. You can flip the switch one way or the other and have two different lights outside. A lot of brands just have either a porch light or just have an LED light strip. This gives you both and you can choose which way you want to do it. Another really nice thing that uh, I think a lot of people tend to overlook, you have a shade built into the window here. Pull up and down shade. A lot of brands either one, don't have a window, or they have a window and no way to block out the light or privacy. Uh, so that's pretty cool. Both doors actually have that built-in shade. A little light underneath the step area there to help you kind of go in and out. Extended uh, season RVing again, enclosed underbelly and stuff there. Has some heat that blows down into there. Large folding entry handle. Three-year limited structural warranty. That's a big feature. I know it sounds corny, but a lot of brands only have a one-year warranty period. And this gives you a three-year structural warranty. You're finding that on more and more RVs now, but still some manufacturers and some brands uh, do not have that. So it's nice to see RV makers finally starting to back their products a little better. Uh, again, you can kind of see the uh, screened area there. It's pre-wired for an observation or backup camera if you wanted to put that on. Definitely would recommend that observation camera. It's great use to drive down the road and be able to see behind you a lot better. Uh, again, you can get the patio feature if you want that. This one was ordered without that, but you can get that feature. Ladder on the back just kind of comes out there on the side, and it's got a 250-pound rating, so you can get up and down there and fully walk on roof if you will need to get up there and kind of check things out and inspect things. Fuel station located back here in the corner. This will power your generator, or you also have a fuel pump that you can fuel your four-wheeler, off-road vehicles, whatever. They have an option for an extra 18-gallon fuel station as well, um, so you could have two if you needed it. This one was ordered 30-amp uh, service, but you can also get 50-amp service if you need, and 50-amp service will pre-wire you for a generator, or sorry, pre-wire you for a second air conditioner. Um, cable satellite hookups here. Little vent up there. Uh, again, electric slide. Uh, this is the Swintec slide system used on this particular model. Swintec is done by Lippert, uh, LCI1.com. They got a lot of different information about that on their website there. Uh, 10 gallon gas electric water heater, city water connection, and an outside spray port located right there. Uh, back up here a little bit, kind of let you look down the side here a little bit better. Uh, again, guys, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you are interested in keeping up with more of my videos. I'm trying to update a lot of these new models as they come in so you can check them out. There you can see your dump area for your gray and black and everything right down here. This one, again, was ordered with the Onan 5500-watt generator. And if you do two airs, you definitely will need that over the 4000 option. Uh, so you can do two generators when ordering this, a 4,000 watt or a 5,500. And up here you've got some basic information about the camper. This particular unit was built 11-21 of 2019. 2916 Striker model, your VIN number here. Uh, tires, ST23580R16 E-range tires. You have two 6,000 pound axles. So you have 12,000 pounds of axle weight, but then you also have hitch weight. So your gross weight, axle weight, hitch weight combined is 12.8. And I'll put some more specs and information down below for you guys. Uh, again, be sure to check out couchesrvnation.com. They let me do these videos for you, kind of get you informed and teach you a little bit about them. Check them out. Thanks, guys.